Visualize through the spin. The what? The spin? What the heck is the spin? Oh, the spine. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Emma Jean. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I have another radiology video for you. I will be talking about upper airway or also known as soft tissue. Before I get started, I do want to go over a little disclaimer. All the information that I learned here are from my program. My instructor does specify on certain topics or terms for us to really emphasize or focus on for our upcoming exams. I may say extra information or information that you have not learned. So I really encourage you to stick with the information that is said by your instructor so that you will do well on your exams. That being said, whatever I say extra or what I don't say, all are considered very good things for the ART exam for the state. For this video, we are looking at the upper airway or also known as soft tissue. This one would more look of the pathology of the trachea and the larynx. This is more used for trying to find a foreign object. So this is very commonly used for kids, say if they ingested something, swallowed something. This way, when we take the images, they were able to see on the picture if there's anything foreign that has been put in there. For this body part, we would use an IR size of 10 to 12 inches or 24 to 30 centimeters in portrait. A grid is used with 72 inches of SID. The central ray location is C6 and C7, which is between the laryngeal prominence of the thyroid cartilage and jugular notch. The technique used is a range of 75 to 85 kvp. We will shield anything that's outside the area of interest. For PA, have the patient upright or seated, if possible with the back of the head and shoulders placed against the IR, slightly raise the chin. Call me about one inch below EAM, which is also known as external auditory medis. Exposure is made with slow, deep inspiration. Structures shown are larynx and trachea filled with air visualized. That's the reason why we have them to make a slow, deep inspiration so we can see that air in those body parts. Through the spine, proximal cervical spine should be superimposed with the mandible. For lateral position, have the patient with either the left or right shoulder against the IR. Rotate shoulders posteriorly with arms hanging down, raise chin slightly. Have the patient looking directly ahead. Once more, the exposure is made at a slow, deep inspiration. Again, the exposure is made at a slow, deep inspiration to ensure that there is air in the trachea and larynx. In summary, for the IR size, it would be 10 to 12 inches or 24 to 30 centimeters. We would use portrait. A grid is used with SID of 72 inches. The central ray location will be at C6 or C7. Technique 75 to 85 kvp. We would shield the outside area of interest. Structures showed are the larynx and trachea filled with air. The PA has no rotation where the lateral of the patient is turned 90 degrees at a true lateral projection. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.